personal change. It's difficult. It's painful. And very few people are capable of really changing. I've been a chiropractor for almost 40 years. I've helped thousands and thousands of people. There's one case that beat the odds. One case with the unfortunate name of Paul Crapper. His name was Crapper, and his life was in the crapper. Baby! He was living in a car. Stayed there for three months. 2010. Iraqi War veteran with post-traumatic stress disorder. He was going to the VA. He was getting some counseling. He was on medication, but it wasn't working. And when he came to my center, he reeked. His hair was oily, his skin was scaly, his neck was like this from being in the car. But he was unlike any patient I've ever worked with because he had a made up mind. He decided to go over, under, around, or through any obstacle It made him unstoppable. In his words, it was just too painful to stay there anymore. And I remember his first visit, he came to my center and the secretary said, you got to do something, Dr. V. He stinks. He stinks. <laughs> the other patients are complaining. I walked into the room and he reeked and I looked at him and I said, Mr. Crapper, you look like a strong individual. You have some tight muscles. And I start to explain. And you've got to loosen up these muscles. There's a certain effect that hot soapy water has upon the musculature. <laughs> and what I'd like you to do is there's a rec center near that car that you're living in and go in the rec center let that shower be on your back and neck with hot soapy water and I'll see you on your next visit when you get those muscles softened up. Dr. V, Dr. V, don't lie to me, don't lie to me. If you want me to take a bath, just say, take a bath. Take a bath. <laughs> and to my surprise, he came back. He cleaned up. Average looking guy, willing to do whatever it takes. He listened. His neck was like this. Most people's necks these days are like this. I have a live audience here. But you might be sitting there at home watching this video. Put your neck forward like this. Put it forward. Everyone, put your necks forward like this. Pull your shoulders back. This is the way an entire generation is growing, interfacing with cell phones, computer screens. What I taught Paul was to bring his head back, to balance it like a big bowling ball on a stick, and let his shoulders fall forward because the military taught him this posture. By the way, if you've been taught this posture, it's terribly wrong. Don't do that to your shoulders. Bring them forward, if anything. Lift your head up, and you will have better posture. And that's exactly what he did. He did it consistently. Unlike other patients, he was trainable. He was willing to go over, under, around, or through any obstacle. He had his mind made up. He was going to beat the odds and really change because personal change is painful and difficult, and he knew it. But he was tough. He was very different from anyone I've ever met. Later, he came in, very excited. He said, Dr. V. Dr. V, I'm going to change my name. I've been thinking about it. I'm thinking about changing my name to Paul Hitler. What do you think? 
Hitler did a lot of good things for the German economy. He did a lot of good things for the German people. I'm not sure Hitler did anything good for the German people, Paul. I don't know if that's a good choice. Crapper to Hitler. <laughs> Dr. V, you're such a sucker. You gotta sugarcoat everything. I'm not sure if that's a good choice. Hey, I, I might have lived in a car, but I'm not crazy. No one said you're crazy. I'm changing my name to Paul Fortune. That's a better choice, Paul. He changed everything. Got a girlfriend, got a job, moved out of the car, changed his posture. Very easy to work with, just absolutely determined. That's what it takes. His last visit, I'm moving back to the car. You what? I'm moving back. I'm moving back in. I've got real problems now. My girlfriend's driving me crazy. My boss micromanages me. <laughs> I didn't have these problems living in the car. I didn't even have rent. Some ways I was better off living in the car, Dr. V. I'm just yanking your chain. <laughs> I just came back one more time to, to yank your chain one more time and say thanks. I'm out of here. I've got an interview. They're flying me out of town. I've got an interview. They're putting me up in a hotel. It, it sounds promising. It sounds good. I'm really glad for you, Paul. But before you go, I need to know one thing. One thing. What was it that was pivotal? Was it the medication they put you on? in the VA? Was it the counseling you received? No, I can't say it was that. I want to know what it was that was transformation of what was most useful for you. Was it that exercise that I gave you with the shoulders and the neck? Was that helpful? Uh, certainly that helped, Dr. V, but I, I don't know if it was any one thing in particular. I was just in too much pain. I had to change. I had to change, and I made up my mind to do it. Paul, was it the chiropractic care? Was it your adjustments? Was that most helpful? I'd really like to know before you go. Let's see, what was it? The one thing, the one thing. There's a certain effect that hot soapy water has upon the spinal musculature. <laughs> Dr. V, you're such a sucker. You walk right into that one. I love you forever. I'm out of here. <laughs> There's very few people who beat the odds. But if you have a made-up mind and you're willing to go over, under, around, or through the obstacles, there's a good chance you'll make it. Share if you care. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back with something powerful and positive for you and yours.